Menorah in the D would not be complete without, of course, the centerpiece of the holiday, and that's the menorah. The piece was made right here in Detroit by two local artists. 7 Action News reporter Faraz Javid joins us live in Campus Marshes with one of those artists now to tell us all about this one-of-a-kind piece. Faraz? Jen, so... Of course, today marks the start of Hanukkah, and right here at Cadillac Square, we have this 26 feet tall menorah, which we lit this evening, just after 5, 5.30ish, and of course, we'll have all the coverage here on WXYZ. But to tell me a little bit about this structure, I have the designer with me, Eric. Eric, thank you for joining us this morning. I know it's cold and you're here warm, but is it true that you came up with this design on a napkin? <laughs> yes. Uh, when we first sat down with Didi Shemtov um, from the show to talk about um, the, the idea of the design, um, we were th they were thinking something about eight feet tall. And after, you know, coming up with some, my brother Israel and I coming up with some really cool, you know, uh, at least initial thoughts, uh, you know, our th we, we, we felt it was important to make it um, as big as possible, something that was freestanding, uh, something that didn't need wires and, and whatnot. And so we've got an 8,000 pound sculpture that's made of stainless steel and, and cast glass and something that we think is, you know, super representative of Detroit, um, something special to, you know, to, to celebrate with Hanukkah. And, and, and this is one of the tallest here in Detroit or Michigan? Uh, th this is one of the tallest in the nation. Um, there are other menorahs. There was one in London that was taller, but it had a lot of scaffolding around it, you know. Um, so our goal was just to make it a freestanding, beautiful piece. Um, you know, that would be another addition for Detroit. Um, uh, just a, a, a wonderful piece of public art, right? <clears throat> in terms of, like, getting this installed here, were there any challenges in terms of assembling or because of the weather or anything like that? Well, there's always a little bit of um, challenge when you're working with a uh, you know a piece is heavy, um, the lifts and cranes that we use to set it, um, it does deassemble. Um, something that you know makes it very flexible depending on you know, where we're going to set it. Um, but pieces this heavy are uh, they always have their challenges. <clears throat> And of course, Eric, you've done other sculptures as well, and they've got some upcoming as well. Can you walk me through, especially the one in the Belle Isle? Uh, yeah, we have a piece that we've created for the um, Southern Gateway for the Iron Ball Trail. Iron Ball Trail is a trail that goes, a contiguous trail from Detroit up to Ironwood, Michigan. And this piece that we're creating uh, is 25 foot in diameter. It weighs about 16,000 pounds, and it'll be going out with the lighthouse on Belle Isle, one of the largest um, pieces of public art to be placed on the island in probably decades, as far as you know, our understanding. Super Super exciting. <clears throat> awesome. Thank you, Eric. Thank you so much for joining us oh, today. Thank you for us. And of course, Jen, let's not forget the Hanukkah, the start of Hanukkah will be marked today here at Cadillac Square, 5 p.m. onwards. People can attend both in person and live as uh, live as in live stream as well. So um, happy Hanukkah to everyone celebrating. Jen, back to you. Faraz, thanks for that live report. A celebration of local art, light, and love. Looking